Now to the growing firestorm surrounding multi-millionaire Jeffrey Epstein tonight, arrested and charged with sex trafficking. Girls allegedly as young as 14, federal agents using a crowbar to break into his home, carrying out evidence. And tonight right here we have new reporting on what was found inside. And this evening President Trump has asked about Epstein, a man he once socialized with, and about his labor secretary who was the prosecutor on the Epstein case so many years ago. Tom Yamas again tonight. Tonight. New video of federal agents storming into Jeffrey Epstein's Manhattan mansion. Officials now examining what they allegedly found inside. Hundreds of photos, some of what seemed to be of underage girls naked. And inside of a locked safe, compact discs. One allegedly labeled Young Miscellaneous Nudes 1. The disgraced financier remains in jail, charged with sex trafficking, accused of sexually abusing underage girls, some as young as 14. At one time, the well-connected mega-millionaire drew praise from President Trump back in 2002 before allegations surfaced. Trump saying he was, quote, a terrific guy, going on to say, it is even said that he likes beautiful women as much as I do, and many of them are on the younger side. Today, President Trump pressed to answer questions about Epstein. He was a fixture in Palm Beach. Uh, I had a falling out with him a long time ago. I don't think I've spoken to him for 15 years. Uh, I wasn't a fan. I was not, yeah, a long time ago. I'd, I'd say maybe 15 years. Uh, I was not a fan of his, that I can tell you. And President Clinton once said Epstein is both a highly successful financier and a committed philanthropist. Clinton's office now saying he knows nothing about the terrible crimes and that in 2002 and 2003, President Clinton took a total of four trips on Jeffrey Epstein's airplane and that he's not spoken to Epstein in well over a decade. Now, an increased scrutiny into the president's labor secretary, Alex Acosta, for his role in granting Epstein immunity years ago when he was U.S. attorney in the Southern District of Florida. I pled guilty to solicitation of prostitution. The wealthy money manager serving just 13 months in county jail, registering as a sex offender. The secret agreement also halted a federal grand jury investigation. And tonight, growing calls on Acosta to resign. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and others saying he must step down. If he refuses to resign, President Trump should fire him. The president standing by Acosta. I feel very badly actually for Secretary Acosta because I've known him as being somebody that works so hard and has done such a good job. But we're going to be looking at that and looking at it very closely. And earlier, Secretary Acosta responding, tweeting this, the crimes committed by Epstein are horrific, and I am pleased that New York prosecutors are moving forward with a case based on new evidence. And Tom Yamas with us live again tonight. Tom, Secretary Acosta's critics saying there was a lot of evidence 11 years ago uh, when that plea deal was reached, but any early idea tonight how much new evidence there is? Well, David, New York prosecutors say they have new victims and new witnesses. And as we reported just now in our report, they seized photos, nude photos of women, many that seem to be underage, along with those compact discs. But, David, as you mentioned, critics of Secretary Acosta say when he was U.S. attorney, they had mounting evidence. They had several victims, several witnesses, yet they chose not to indict. David? Tom Yamas outside the mansion raided. Tom, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.